Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome back to Simply Our Home and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanted to share with you what my daily cleaning routine normally looks like. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's video. Starting off here in my bedroom, my number one chore on my list is to always make my bed. I normally do this immediately after I wake up so that I'm not tempted to snuggle back into bed and get a few more hours of sleep. I find too that if I don't make my bed and walk by during the day, it tends to lure me in and I find myself cuddled up and scrolling on my phone. For me to have a productive day, it starts with this simple task. Now that my kiddos are older, they consistently make this a habit to do first thing in the morning too. So I'm glad that I passed that on to them. After breakfast, I move on to tackle the kitchen. So number two on my list is comprised of unloading the dishwasher, which usually is every other day for us. And this morning is a day that I needed to be unloaded. I like doing this early in the morning so that the dishes throughout the day can be automatically put in the dishwasher right away rather than piling up in the sink. One way we reduce the amount of dishes we use is by keeping our drinking glass at our place at the table. Rather than grabbing a new glass every time, we reuse the one throughout the day. Let me know if you're like us and set at the same place around the table. It's like we have assigned seats, but I swear we don't. After I've reloaded the dishwasher with our breakfast dishes, I go ahead and clean up items that I typically hand wash, like my skillets and knives. Then I move directly onto number three, which is scrubbing up my sink and wiping down the counters. I routinely do this about two times a day, one in the morning and then one after dinner. As my kiddos have gotten older, dinner is no longer their last meal and they will fix and eat snacks way into the night even after I'm in bed. So the clean sink and counters after dinner never last very long. Today I'm using a Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in a fall scent, which is one of my favorites and that's the apple cider scent. And I was just really excited to get this out and really start to prepare and think about how I'll be decorating for fall. I know this might sound weird, but I wanted to mention it, that I also make an effort to get myself ready for the day. On days that I stay in my PJs or loungewear, I lack motivation to do the things I know I need to do to keep the house running and tidy. For me, I don't know why, but doing my makeup sets me up to have a more positive day. Us mamas need to feel good about ourselves too. We have such an important job to teach our children how to be great humans, who will one day be our future leaders. And that is no small task. This job is known to be the most wonderful, hardest, most lonely, and sweetest jobs in the whole world. Often going unappreciated, but it is so vital to our society. So take time to do what makes you feel good about yourself. Whether that's doing your makeup, taking a bubble bath alone, wearing a fancy outfit on a regular day, or even having a coffee date with a friend. You totally deserve it. Next, I head into our powder room 
And number four on my schedule is to do what I call is a swish and shine. So this consists of making sure to clean the inside of the toilet, shine the mirror, and wipe down the counters. Since our powder room is the bathroom we regularly use during the day, plus it's the one that guests would use, I make sure to clean it on a daily basis. Now the other bathrooms throughout our house, I'll get to them on Tuesday during my weekly cleaning schedule. Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Moving on into the family room, and here's a quick shot of the room today. So on my list, number five on my daily schedule is to tidy and clear the clutter. This was the aftermath of our game night the night before. We wanted to do something special the weekend before Caleb, my son, goes off to college. And so what we did was to do all the things that he enjoys doing with us. So that included video games and board games. So today it's time to put everything back in its place and get this room back in order. This also involves fluffing the couch cushions and placing the pillows back where they belong. I like to start a pile at the bottom of the stairs and I find this very useful. Instead of running myself ragged going up and down the stairs, I collect everything that needs to be put away upstairs and then only make one trip instead of many. Think about you, for you my love. You drive me crazy, tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you. I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah. This brings me to number six on my daily schedule, and that is to vacuum all the high traffic areas. For me, that definitely includes our family room and foyer area. This is where we spend the majority of our time. Plus, letting the dogs in and outside from the front door many times throughout the day creates a lot of dirt and dust. Getting to this daily keeps the area from becoming overrun and filthy, and I definitely don't want this impression right at my front door. So here's what I mentioned before. Once I've created that pile at the bottom of the stairs, it's time to put everything back in its place. I think that having a routine or schedule is super important when you're not sure where, what, or how often to clean something so that you're never overwhelmed or embarrassed of your home. Now my routine is always changing based on my family's needs. So although this is what my typical day looks like, some days will be different and that's just life. Next up, number seven, take out the garbage. Keeping on top of this daily task can prevent your kitchen from smelling nasty and becoming cluttered from overflowing trash. This allows meal prep and anything else we want to do in the kitchen to be much more convenient. Plan and prepare for tomorrow's dinner makes number eight on my to-do list. That might consist of making a grocery run or pulling meat out of the fridge. Either way, failing to plan is a plan to fail. Moving right along, watering my plants is the next task and number nine that needs checked off my schedule. I typically like to do this right before dinner.
Speaking of dinner, tonight's dinner is a crock pot stew and boy was it yummy. I can leave the recipe down in the description box below if you're interested in trying it out. This brings us to my 10th and final duty, kitchen overhaul. This is a quick clean of the kitchen after dinner. I start by emptying leftovers into a small, more manageable containers to store for later. Then I load any dirty dishes into the dishwasher and get that running if full. Next, I once again wipe down my sink, counters, and table. I finish up by vacuuming all the floors throughout the kitchen. This daily schedule takes me only about one to two hours to complete. By having a daily schedule, it keeps me from feeling overwhelmed because I'm consistently keeping up with the work rather than letting it build up. It also allows me to do extra weekly and monthly duties so that I can focus on areas that might be overlooked if I wasn't following a daily schedule. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you before you click off, be sure if you've enjoyed the video to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you've been enjoying this video and what other types of things that you would like to see from me. I hope that you found this video helpful and will try some of my suggestions. The most important thing is to find a schedule that works for your family and remember a routine can always be changed when it isn't working. Give my daily schedule a try and let me know if it helps you. Also, if you haven't already and you've enjoyed watching today, be sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. Also, if you know someone who would enjoy my content of cleaning motivation, decorating, home projects, and more, please consider sharing it with them. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!